One of the things that was really important to me was to have a, a dog that I wasn't going to have to be concerned about its health, its capacity to be agile, getting up and off, down off hospital beds. I also didn't want to have to go chasing after a dog. Um, it didn't. It. I didn't have time to go training a dog a whole heck of a lot the way you would wait perhaps for a boxer for two years before they even hit adulthood. You know, they're the most wonderful dogs, but there are a lot of issues with boxers today also. So the Royal Frenchel was bred um, with this contextual frame of being a service dog. A service dog that was the very best companion you could get and also um, um, didn't have health issues or issues with agility or issues with listening and or stubbornness. Qualities that can make a dog funny but really poor to live with. So these dogs are just naturally, naturally intuitive. They're sensitive. They're the best dog in the world for another older dog to have really good care and a good friend. You know, if dogs lose a dog friend and they're the only one remaining in the family but they're older and people don't really want to put a brand new puppy in with an older dog, the Royal Frenchel is the dog to get. They're just a natural caregiver. They will sensitize to the animal that they're with or the person they're with and do just an activity to learn where those thresholds are and then they back off pretty easily as long as you're consistent with telling them and giving them really clear direction. Not difficult at all. I've taught the easiest people, um, that, I mean the pe people that have had the most difficult time training in their past and have shared that with me, they've been way successful with Royal Frenchels.